I had a number of options open to me because I had primarily meniscal tears, but I also had some degeneration in the knee, some osteoarthritis that had started to occur, and the knee obviously was showing some, some problems that were fairly extensive, especially in the medial compartment. Dr. Stone and I talked quite a bit about the various options and that if I chose to do a bio knee, he could do the bio knee. And if I wanted to go with the Mako knee and the robotic knee, he could also do that. There was none of the, the traditional, well, I only do this and so therefore that's what you're gonna hear about approach that you get from so many doctors. And, and that's what really impressed me and that of course made me realize that I actually, I actually could choose exactly the surgery that would be best for me. We realized that I wanted to be very aggressive in my approach to sports and the Mako knee allowed that because of the fit you can immediately start weighting it and you can immediately start training with it. Approximately one month post-surgery I realized it made some sense to put my race calendar back in place which was the Wildflower Triathlon, two months post-surgery. The World Championships, six months post-surgery. What I'm hoping is that I will be able to continue to do national championships and world championships and be competitive at that level for the rest of my life. For Scott, the decision between a biologic solution for his knee and a bionic solution or artificial solution using a partial knee replacement came down to the choice of a partial knee replacement because it was a faster recovery, he was already at bone on bone, and it permitted him to get back to these elite level sports that he loves to do.